Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into another exciting new features in C-Sharp 13 and .NET 9, the expanded capabilities of the params keyword. If you are a C-Sharp developer or just getting into coding, this is something you will definitely want to know about. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. C Sharp 30 new features, extended params collections explained. So first of all, let's start with a quick refresher what params collections are. Param collections allow us to pass a variable number of arguments to a method. Let's say we have a method that takes multiple numbers as inputs and adds them up. Normally, we'd have to pass these numbers one by one or put them in an array. But with params, we can pass them all directly. Okay, so let's understand with the help of examples on over here. So here, there is a static method named add numbers that is going to accept flexible list of numbers known as params. That's what I have written params int array numbers over here. I have highlighted with the yellow underline, right? So here, what we can do, we can pass any number of integers without needing to package them into a specific container. Okay, so in this method, what I'm doing actually, I'm just summing these numbers up and displaying the total. That's what I have written this. So here, what I have done, int sum equal to zero. So basically, I have declared a variable named sum of int data type and I have initialized with zero value. Then there is a for each loop that basically iterating these numbers and adding all the numbers into the sum variable. That's what I have written sum plus equal to num. When all the numbers have been iterated and added into the sum variable, what I'm doing, I'm just printing this number into console window. That's what I have written console dot write line sum and whatever the value that I have received as a sum variable, that, that value I'm going to print with the help of this statement. So this is the method I have written. How we are going to call this? We can call this number by just listing the number like this. So here what I have done, I am just calling this add numbers. I have just written add numbers and here I am just listing the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically this param is going to handle all those things and then it will give me the final outcome that basically is going to come as a sum equal to 15. That's what the output I have written over here. There is another way to call this add numbers. Instead of, you know, passing individual numbers, what I can do, I can pass this arrays. That's what I have written int array. Int array is equal to new int array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, I have one array object over here. And then what I'm doing, I'm just calling this add numbers method and passing int array as an argument over here. So this method is going to handle this int array and it is just going to processing and then finally it is giving me some output, right? that it is going to get printed into this console window. That's what I have written output sum 15 over here. So we have seen param makes it simple, but until now it was mostly limited to arrays only. Now let's say if you want to pass a list of integers, we had to convert it into an array and then we need to pass it. That's what I have written over here, wrapping list into the arrays to use params, which is very expensive. So here what I have done, I have created an instance of this list int. That's what I have written list int numbers is equal to new list int and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically we have list int object over here numbers. This list of integers we need to convert into the array. How we are going to convert it? We need to use this two array method. What I have written numbers dot two array. So basically what I am doing, I am just converting the list into an array. Please note that it's very expensive in the terms of stream memory and it is just going to reduce the performance for the larger set. So here I am just, you know, converting into the array and then passing as an argument to the add numbers method. That's what I have written this. And this add numbers method is going to handle this type of things and give me the outcome. That's outcome. What outcome we are going to get it? We are going to get an outcome as a sum equal to 15. Now, what's new with the params in C-Sharp 13.NET 9? With C-Sharp 13, the params keyword has become much more flexible. We are no longer limited to arrays. We can now use params with many other collection types including span t, read only span t, list of t, any type that implements an i-numerable t interface or i-list interface. So this means we can pass in spans, lists, read-only collection and more without needing to wrap them in the arrays, which simplifies our code and makes it more efficient. So now you might be wondering why to use these new collection types with params, right? So here there are two main benefits to use these new collection types with params. Number one, enhanced performance with span t and read-only span t. Span T and read only a span T are highly efficient because they access memory directly, avoiding extra allocation. So this saves memory and speed up operations and making them ideal for performance critical scenarios like processing large data set or handling high frequency data. And now that we can use them with params, 
so our code is even more powerful number 2 broader compatibility with common collection interface forums can now work with collection implementing interfaces like i enumerable t or i list t this means we can pass in list t qt stack t and similar types directly as param arguments and making our code more flexible and intuitive okay so let's look at an example shown over here so here is a method that uses param list int directly so here this method add number use list is a static method that is going to accept list int directly as a param argument that's what i have written param list of int numbers so we can now pass a list of int without converting into an array for so how cool is that and this method also what i am doing i am just you know summing it up and displaying as the total number of sum so in this method also i am doing the same thing just summing these numbers up and displaying the total that's what i have written this code over here but please note that this list of int as a param arguments was not possible before c sharp 30 with the new feature extended in this param collection we are able to use list of int as a param arguments okay so now let's switch over to the visual studio to see these extended param collections in action all right So here we are in Visual Studio. Let's check out a demo of these extended Param collection. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named Extended Param Collections in C Sharp 13 demo that has program.cs. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespaces like using system, using system.net.network information. Then there is a class named program that has four methods: add numbers. add numbers use span add number use list and the main method okay so let's review one by one each method okay let's review this add numbers method first so this is nothing but the static method that is going to accept a flexible list of numbers known as param that's what i have written params int array numbers okay so here this is the way how we are going to pass this params for the int array and it was there since long right before the c sub 13 also it was present but i just want to show you how we are going to use that right so that's what i have written this method over here so in this method what i am doing i am just adding up all the numbers and printing into the console window that's what i have written this statement so i'm using params int and whatever the sum value that we are going to receive it after iterating this for each loop of these numbers i'm just printing this number into the console window that's what this method is doing similarly we have another method add numbers use span so here what i am doing i'm just passing read only span of int as a param argument previously C sharp 13 it was not possible with C sharp 13 it is a possible and that's what we could write something like this params read only as pent int numbers so this is also a static method that is return nothing so what we are doing inside this method doing the same thing i'm just adding up all the numbers and printing into the console window that's what i have written this statement so i'm using params read only as pent of int and whatever the same value that we are going to receive it after iterating this numbers i'm just printing into the console window okay then there is a third method add numbers use list So here again, I'm just passing this list of int as an param arguments, and it was not possible before C sharp 13. With C sharp 13, we could write something like this. That's what I have written these things. Params list of int numbers. Okay. So here also, I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding up all the numbers and printing the final value with the help of this sentence. Sum using param list of int and whatever the sum. that we have received after iterating this number by the for each loop and assigning into the sum variable and that sum number sum variable value i'm just going to print into this console window that's what this statement is going to perform then lastly we have this main method which is an entry point of this application so here first of all what i'm doing i'm just printing this statement into console window demo of extended param collections in c sharp 13.net 9 so here i'm just written traditional so add numbers 1 2 3 4 5 so here basically i'm listing out all the numbers and passing as an argument to this add numbers method that's what i have written these things and this add numbers method is going to get invoked this method and that has this params int array numbers as an parameter that is going to accept all the numbers that i'm passing as a listing over there right so it is just going to perform this operation and then this statement is going to get printed whatever the same value it is going to come right this is the one call that i am making to the add numbers method second call i am also making the same method but in a different approach here what i am doing i am creating an instance of this int array that's what i have written int int array new int array 1 2 3 4 5 and then this int array that i have created in an array object i'm just passing into this add numbers method as an arguments so this add number method is going to get invoked and this method is going to capture this int array what i am passing from there and then it is just going to process and finally this statement is going to get printed over here okay so that's what this line number 52 is going to perform
Okay, then what I'm doing, I want to pass this list of int to the same add numbers method, but we can't do directly. We need to convert this first into the array, then only we can pass it. And this is very, very expensive. That's what I have written, converting this list into an array as an expensive one. So here how we can convert this list of int to the array with the help of two array method. That's what I have written, numbers dot two array. And this array, I'm going to pass into this add numbers as an argument. So again, this add number method is going to get invoked and this thing is going to get performed. And finally, this statement is going to print it into the console. Value. Then I'm going to write t sharp 13 dot net nine way. Okay, so here what I'm doing. I'm just calling this method add numbers use span. Here I'm passing as an read only span 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this statement is going to invoke this add user add numbers use span method. And here if you see read only span of int, I have written as an uh, as a params argument, right? So it is going to capture all those things, perform all those operations, and then finally it is going to print this statement into the console bin. That's what this method is going to do that. Then what I'm doing, I'm just going to call this add number use user list. So first of all, before calling this add number user list, what I have done, I have created a list of int object. That's what I have written list of int obj list. And this is the one, two, three. Basically, I have created a list of int and then passing as an argument in this add numbers use list map. So this statement is going to invoke this method add numbers use list that is going to accept list of int as an argument over here and then it is going to perform all those operation and finally this statement is going to get printed into the console when then finally i have written console.readline now you have seen how the program is structured let me go and execute this program and show this output to you Okay, so output got appear into this console window. If you see demo of extended param collections in C sharp .NET 9 got printed traditional way. All those some items got printed some using param since 15, 15, 15 and the C sharp 13 .NET 9 way. Some using params read only a span of int 21 got printed. Some using params list of int 6 got printed. As you can see, we have tested params with different collection types and making it easy and efficient to work with data in the various formats without extra conversion. Previously, we used to convert all those types into the array first and then we are going to use this param collection. But with the help of C sharp 13.9, dot net nine, we can directly pass all those collections as an argument for the params, right? We can perform it easily without any conversion. Okay, so that brings me to end up my session today. To sum up, today we explored the param collections in C sharp, what they are and how to use them. We also discussed the previous limitation of the params which only work with arrays. But now with the extended params features in C sharp 13, working with collection has become easier, more flexible and faster. So this new addition opens up the great possibility for cleaner and more efficient code. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video